a lot of people out there they want to get a motorcycle trailer for their bike because you know they may have to trailer it to a, a dealership or whatnot especially if you own one of these European bikes let me pull over here this is bull man <laughs> and uh, but you don't have room in your yard for a big old trailer to put in your backyard or for, and, your, and your homeowners association won't allow a trailer looking ugly in your front yard so there's only a few options to work with of course you have the option like i went with it, uh, the fold-up trailer that goes in my garage uh, it's been really awesome i did a full review on that i'll include that video link in the description and comment section of this video and i'll be doing a, a long-term review follow-up video uh coming soon uh, but of course you also have those hitch carriers uh, motorcycle carriers that go on the hitch of your car uh, a lot of you guys mentioned that to me like cycle cruiser why didn't you get that man uh, isn't that better let's go for a ride you are watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today continue to leave video suggestions but you may find what you're looking for by visiting my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my videos and those are a bunch of playlists with all of my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through got my nice he light vest on here airbag vest keeping me safe also hi ideas baby keep me safe out here on the streets i'll include a link in the description and comment section of this video also loving this new phone and this new bike dock which i have a link to this bike dock in the description section as well yeah that v-fo baby <laughs> Got a little bit of sound if you live here in ohio or up north where they put salt down on the roads and uh, the bottom of our cars tend to get rusty underneath the frame can get rusty um and you know if you attach one of those hitch carriers on there you know underneath the car you know i honestly in my opinion i would not trust <laughs> Uh, a hitch carrier uh, for, with my bike on it with rust with that rusty frame underneath man um, I feel like you know it could damage not only the frame because you know what when, when rust gets on metal it it, it weakens uh, the metal and if it, and rust is like a cancer <laughs> it just keeps spreading and getting worse and then eventually it just cracks off so if you're putting a bike, that hitch carrier on there, and your bike is putting all that weight on the tongue uh, of the of the hitch, you know, underneath that that could eventually, you know, crack off the the frame, and it could cause that carrier to snap. Man, I wouldn't trust it. You know, even on my Lexus, uh, it underneath that frame, there's some it's a little bit of rust underneath. That. I won't trust it, man. <laughs> But not only that, that's not the main concern, but that is a huge concern that you need to be careful about. But also, uh, from my research, people say that the handlebar, like if you hit a pothole or something, it can jar and it can, uh, you know, hit the back windshield and break your back windshield, shatter it. Uh, so that's something, I'm sure there's some hacks you can do to help prevent that. Uh, also, you have to be concerned about when you you know put it up yourself up on the on the uh, the ramp that the bike doesn't fall on you <laughs> say you're a small person or something and you, you don't you lose your step or something you slide on some rocks underneath you something the bike come falling on you uh, could set you up for a real effed up day also you know those hitch carriers block your tail light and license plate and a cop could pull you over. That's something you have to be careful of. I know they do have kits where it can extend the tail lights on the hitch. Uh, but you're also going to have to put a plate there as well. Um, you're going to have to relocate your plate. Because the cops, obviously, they have to be able to see your plate from the rear. So that's something you have to keep in mind. Now, there, the, there is a benefit to having a hitch carrier. Obviously, you don't have nothing trailering behind you. So you can go into more places, especially you have a 4x4 uh, you know, SUV or whatnot, and you're going, say, to a dirt bike track, and you're going off-road with your SUV. 
uh, that can be excellent so you don't have to worry about the hitch you know causing pro excuse me the trailer causing problems for you when you go off-road and it's just easier to trailer as well so but like I said <laughs> you got to be careful man putting all that weight you know on that hitch uh, and also you got to be careful you got you make sure you understand how much weight can be put on a tongue uh, the tongue weight of the hitch uh, because you don't want to exceed that because uh, uh, you know if that and I wouldn't get one of those Chinese one if you're gonna get one and do not get one of those Chinese ones I do not trust the Chinese man <laughs> stuff like that where your bike is vulnerable you know sitting up on the back of your car like that and uh, you know, they sometimes they can use inferior like the materials I would just wouldn't trust if you're gonna get a good one you better get a good name brand one uh, that's not built in China <laughs> but I still wouldn't recommend one man in my opinion the best way to go is the way I went with the fold-up trail that thing is absolutely amazing makes it really easy to load the bike unload the bike yourself uh, smooth you can go long distances the motorcycle carriers I would only use that for just short trips to just take it to the local dealer or something that's not something that I would take across the country in your car um, and also you want you're probably going to want to upgrade the suspension your rear suspension that's holding that extra weight just depending on the weight of your bike I know there's a lot of RVers out there that have uh, the motorcycle carriers on the back of their RV and they, they've traveled all across the country and they'll swear by it but you have to understand those RVs have beefier suspensions and they're a lot wider so they're not covering the tail lights they're not covering the license plate and uh, and they can carry more weight so it's not a big issue uh, for RVs and I know there's vans you know van dwellers and uh, car dwellers and are people with cars that have the, those carriers and they swear by them but uh, just I'm just sharing my opinion on you know I per I personally would not trust one uh, for me especially here in Ohio with our uh, you know we have rust underneath our cars uh, but yeah you do what you want to do baby but if you want to get the fold-up trailer that I got that's absolutely awesome and takes a little space up in the garage I'll include a link to that trailer in the description and comment section of this video along with the straps that I use that are absolutely amazing and uh, but for those of you guys to want to get my gear like this he like uh, air vest and my helmet my lightweight helmet my uh, gear my leather pants jackets gloves I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos or go to my website at cyclecruiser.com click on the menu tab my gear and that's links to all my stuff Big thumbs up check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.